Hi everybody, welcome back to yourrealestateexperience.com. I'm Jason Turk with homesontampabay.com and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about searching the MLS like a real estate agent. Um, we always talk about how important it is to give you the most up-to-date information and allow you the ability to go out there and really search like a realtor for your dream home and we want to do everything possible to be able to give you those tools and allow you to go in and do that without necessarily always coming to us. I have a uh, tool that I use and, and that I give to my clients called Listing Book and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about that today. Um, Listing Book is, is a really powerful tool and it allows you to search all the properties listed in, in the multiple listing service. Um, it lets you search just like I would search the MLS. I mean, it has all the same search criteria, um, gives you photos, virtual tours, any links to maps or area, uh, you know, the area surrounding. Um, also gives you access to loan calculators and pretty much everything that I have access to. So I want to go over a couple of the different things. I'm going to throw some screenshots up here and uh, hopefully that will better illustrate what the listing book looks like and how it can really help you become more powerful in your search uh, for a home. Some of the listing book basics include um, a front page that is tailored for you. Um, the front page contains a, a few different items on there such as a home finder uh, which monitors all the MLS activity um, that meet, that meet your criteria or that you've set up. Uh, you've also got agent picks on there, so if there's anything that your agent might have found that he thinks or she thinks that you might like, um, they can put that up on your front page as well as an agent pick. Um, there's also a favorite spot, so if you've got properties that you've been looking at um, on there that you really, really like, you can check them off as a favorite and you can always get back to them very easily through your front page. You also have a, uh, a quick search function, um, a calendar, uh, a message board where you can either you know, leave me a message uh, or, your, or your realtor can leave you a message back uh, based on some notes that you might have uh, added for him. So there are a lot of services that, uh, that are offered here in Listing Book and basically you can access all of those right there on your front page. First thing we'll talk about is the uh, the home finder. Uh, basically, the home finder is uh, is just a is a way for you to track properties that that you want uh, to look at that match your search criteria. So what you would do is go in there and uh, put in your criteria, uh, your wants versus your needs, price point, bedrooms, bathrooms, garage, the whole nine, everything that you would uh, want to look for in a home, and then save that criteria, and that's going to be in your your home finder. So anytime any of those criteria are met, you will get a morning report that next morning that shows you all the properties that have met those criteria. It's a really cool feature and it gives you a little bit more power as a buyer to go out there and really look at what's going on in the market without always having to go back to your real estate agent. Uh, changing criteria is very, very easy in listing book. Um, there's a little button that says, you know, edit your criteria. You can go in and you can change your criteria at any point, whether it's your price point, the number of rooms you're looking for in a home, the acreage, whatever the case may be. Very simple for you to do. Just go in, edit your criteria, save it, and now, you know, those those will be your new criteria, and anything that meets that criteria will come to you directly. The property information in Listing Book is very well designed. I mean, it's laid out very easy. It's something that, um, you know, I find it very, very easy to use and I can only imagine that somebody who doesn't have access to the MLS would want something that's very user friendly, something that you can navigate through easily. So when you click on an address or a photo in Listing Book, you're going to be shown the property detail page um, and, you know, it's going to give you all the available data on that particular property. Now remember that that is only as good as the realtor that put the information in. It's the whole garbage in, garbage out thing. So if the agent didn't put the information in very accurately or they forgot to put a certain piece of criteria in, you're not gonna see that 
And that's not necessarily the fault of the listing book, it's the fault of the listing agent who is putting that information into the multiple listing service. There's also a property tools section and what this does is it determines if the property is basically right for your needs. You're going to have a map it function on there, you're going to be able to see where that property is located in the area. If it's in the area that you like or dislike, you can make that determination right there on the spot. Um, it's really easy to read, it's got an interna interactive map, so again, just another great, easy, functioning tool that you get to use while in Listing Book. You also have the ability to rate properties in Listing Book, which I think is really a phenomenal tool. Um, in the multiple listing service, if I were to set you up on a search, I have the ability, after speaking with you, to go ahead and rate a property for you, which is great because then I can build an idea of what it is you're looking for in a property and hopefully be able to determine whether or not the properties that I'm looking at for you are the ones that you really want to see or not. Well, in Listing Book, it just takes me out of the equation completely and you can pretty much go in there and if you see a property that you like, you can give it a thumbs up or you can give it a thumbs down. So on every page where you're looking at properties, you have that little radio button that gives you the option to go ahead and rate it as a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also leave notes in there for me or notes just for you so you can come back and you know, take a look and see what it was that you were thinking about when you were looking at the property. Um, the other thing is, obviously, if we go take a look at those properties, you can come back and make notes to those properties so you have something to to look back to. You also have a function on Listing Book called Property Watches. This is something that I really like because, you know what, we as realtors are constantly watching properties, whether it's in a neighborhood specific subdivision, if it's just a house that we want to see, you know, we're curious what it's going to sell for, and we have the ability to set up those search criteria within MLS and be informed right on the spot when something like that happens and we just get an email or some sort of alert that lets us know that a property has either gone pending, it's sold, uh, there was a price reduction on it, whatever the case may be. Well, now in Listing Book, you have that same functionality where even if it's not on your criteria, it's not something that you're necessarily looking for, you're just wanting to see what maybe a house down the street sold for, you can go ahead and plug that in, put that in there, and, and set it up as a criteria uh, for an alert, and you'll get that alert, and it'll say, you know, hey, the, the, there's a price reduction on it, or there's an open house on it this weekend, or whatever the case may be. So that's a really great function for you as a buyer, or even as a seller, to be able to see what's going on in your neighborhood, and you have all that functionality right here within Listing Book. You also have the quick search function, which, you know, the Listing Book is actually doing all the work of finding your homes that you're looking for, but the quick search is just an easy way to go in and, and find out some information about a specific subdivision or a specific property that you might have driven by. It's just a real quick, like I said, quick search function. So really nice little feature. Doesn't affect the search criteria that you've set up within Listing Book. It's just a real easy way for you to find out information about a specific property very quickly. Finally, I just want to touch on the morning reports again. The morning reports have a lot of really good information and that would be emailed to you every morning from me and it's through the listing book account. So if there's any information in your account that gets updated, you're going to know about it first thing in the morning. There's a calendar feature on there. It also shows any notes that you might have put in, any notes that your realtor might put in, um, gives you a weather report, the whole nine. It's a really great little feature and it comes to you first thing every day and right there from that morning report you can go ahead and log into your listing book, listing book account and make any changes that you might need to make or look at any properties that you want to look at. If you'd like to sign up you'll see that there's a uh, you know sign up for your free listing book account in the sidebar and there's also a little link below so please feel free to take advantage of this great system like I said it's free to you there's no obligation and it's something that really makes you more powerful in this real estate market. And like we said, knowledge is power. So hopefully this will be a tool that you enjoy using. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us directly. Our contact info is below. Have a great day.